is Michael Longacre, and I'm a professor of plastic surgery at Stanford University. I'm here to discuss a very interesting paper by Dr. Gina Rigotti and his group in Verona, Italy, entitled Anti-Aging Treatment of Facial Skin by the Graft and Adipose Derived Stem Cells. I think I'll do this in three sections. First of all, what they did. Secondly, what their results were. And thirdly, what are the implications for the clinical plastic surgeon? So first, what they did was a very interesting application of fat transfer with and without cells into the aging face. They took six facelift patients and they did a pre-procedure biopsy that showed the typical changes of elastosis and aging on the facial skin in the preauricular area. They then placed in two groups either transferred fat, as in fat transfer of the face, with stromal vascular cells or adipose derived stromal cells, or they did transferred fat plus mesenchymal cells where they sorted on cell surface markers, plated those cells for several weeks, and then added those uh, to the fat graft. So there were two different forms of therapy in six patients undergoing facelift. What they found was interesting that either of the treatment groups were able to reverse some of the histologic findings of aging. That is, they saw decreased elastosis, they saw evidence of new elastic fibers and collagen remodeling, and there was no significant difference between the groups. I found this paper to be very interesting. Number one, it's clinical applications. Number two, it's in a very interesting area of fat transfer and plastic surgery. Plastic surgeons need to know what works best with fat transfer and need to have their opinions backed up by data. Studies like this are our first step to that. I think we need to know from how you take out the fat to how you process the fat to how you place the fat what works best. What gives you predictable volume retention and are there benefits to the overlying skin? And I think this study is an important first step towards looking at not only the uh, applications as an adjunct to facial plasty, but can we reverse some of the aging changes in skin? And I congratulate Dr. Rigotti and his authors from Verona, Italy on this fine study.